We see three things that need to be done. The first one is better risk management, and that is using the best available forward-looking climate science probabilistically to incorporate climate risk into many of the decisions that are made. The second point is that adaptation is now essential. And the reason that's essential is there is a certain amount of risk and temperature rise that is embedded over the next decade, and that has to be prepared for. So what this implies from a risk management point of view is if you can decarbonize, 2050 effectively turns into 2080, which means that you don't have 30 years, you have 60 years to prepare for the adaptation responses. The third area is how to take out long-term risk from the system, further buildup of risk. And this ultimately can only be done through decarbonization. And climate science is quite clear that it is the only when the net, if you like, net additions of, of greenhouse gases into the system get to zero, that temperature will not continue to increase. The more time you can buy to create that adaptation response, the better. And so that, that, that is this kind of combination of risk management, adaptation and uh, decarbonisation to take out the long-term risk.